I'm Celeste Sandoval, and I'm from Council Bluffs, Abraham Lincoln. Boy, Celeste, seven years ago! My poem is titled, To the Women Who Are Hurting. My body is a canvas. Yes, you can paint on it. You can leave your marks on my paper flesh. But I choose who paints it. I'm made from the dust that made up the very first batch of hot stars. My eyes contain more atoms in the entire galaxy, and my lungs take in the same air that butterflies breathe. Earth is spinning for the sake of me. I'm gentle, yet I'm strong. I'm soft, but still rough. I'm smart, yet still learning. I'm a woman. Tons of women everywhere think they're less than they are because someone or something is causing them harm. To the women who are hurting, you are beautiful. You are feminine souls who hold the power to make other creatures in the oceans of a land far away. Sharks, some of history's greatest beasts, are frightened of your overbearing beauty. And your skin is so soft and has a smell so sweet that nothing will ever be able to duplicate it just right. Every little girl will become a woman someday, and it's our job to show them that they are special. Today, women are wearing waist trainers, women are covering their intricately designed faces with powder, and women all over the world are shedding tears for incredibly sorrowful reasons. Locking themselves into their minds, screaming the phrases that constantly plague them with fear, I'm, I'm not a size zero anymore. I can't see the shadows of my ribs when I stand. My eyelashes, they aren't long enough. My hips will die, my hips will never be curvy. Girls who are hurting, you may not have everything you desire, but you do have a beating heart. A heartbeat so beautiful it creates rhythms and melodies within your strong chest. It takes time for anything to become a masterpiece. You will not see your beauty until you realize beauty isn't you, you are beautiful. I promise you no matter what you think, you're one in a billion, and that alone makes you gorgeous. You're as pure as the water that drops from diamonds and as gentle as the mist that lingers on a spring morning. Tomorrow, women all over the world will embrace themselves and thank the Lord for making them the way they are. Those stretch marks on your thighs, they're beauty blemishes. The extra skin above your hips gives you an hourglass figure that everyone envies. And your lips, no matter how chapped, will always be soft. Instead of the entire world sexualizing women, let them fantasize about the way our nose wrinkles when you wiggle, the way our hands fit perfectly to another's, and the way we smile at the littlest things. I can't promise you the entire world will see you how I see you, but I can promise that everything will get better. And when the time comes, you'll finally understand what I've been trying to tell you. Your underlying beauty is apparent once you accept it.